Good morning, library friends. So nice to see you again. I think today we are going to start off with a brand new good morning song. Grown-ups, maybe if you have seen the, song, the movie Singing in the Rain, you'll recognize the tune of this song, but we're going to change it up a little bit. And it's called Good Morning. So it's perfect for waking ourselves up, getting some wiggles out before we hear story and do some other activities. So it goes like this. Good morning, good morning. We've slept the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Let's do that one more time with the sleeping and then we're going to change it. We're going to do some other actions, okay? Good morning, good morning. We've slept the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. All right, this time we are gonna clap the whole day through. Since we've woken up and night is over, we're gonna decide on some things to do all day today, okay? <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, let's clap the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. Let's do that one more time. Good morning, good morning, we've clapped the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. Let's add something else. Should we add some stomping? Okay. Good morning, good morning, let's stomp the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. One more time. Good morning, good morning, let's stomp the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. What else could we do? We've done clapping and stomping. Should we do jumping? I think we should. Good morning, good morning. Let's jump the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. One more time. Let's see how high we can jump, okay? Good morning, good morning. Let's jump the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. Let's do one more. I think let's roll our arms. So we'll start off with waving. Good morning, good morning. Let's roll the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. One more time. Good morning, good morning. Let's roll the whole day through. Good morning, good morning to you. All right. Give yourselves a hand. You learned a brand new song. I think maybe we'll do that one again next week too. So we all get a chance to learn it and we can add new actions. If you have actions that you'd like to put into that song, maybe after story time, you and your grown-up can practice that song again and you can add whatever actions you want to it. All right, let's find out what I brought for story. Okay, friends, the book I brought today is called Splash Dance. And it's by Liz Starin, and it's all about being on a team. Have you ever been on a team? A team is where lots of different people all work together to make something happen. Looks to me like these animals and girl are working together to maybe make some water ballet happen. Let's see if that's right. Splash Dance by Liz Starin. And we are hearing this book courtesy of Macmillan Publishing. 
Thanks for letting us share. Here we go. It's just like when you go to the pool or the Y. You have to take a shower, and get yourself clean before you get in the pool water. And there they all are in the pool. I see a pig and a bunny and a bear. And over here, we're just seeing from under the water. We can't see their heads. And it says Ursula and Ricardo were taking a swim. Ooh, and look, they are in the really, really deep end. They must be good swimmers. They were practicing their moves for the upcoming water ballet championship. The prize was one million dollars. Oh, all kinds of rules here. It says no belly flopping. So they trained and trained. Look, they're making circles in the water together. Man, I really want to win, said Ursula. We can do it, said Ricardo. We're a team. But one morning, they got a terrible surprise. No policy, said the lifeguard. No bears. Bears are too hairy. But I'm a very clean bear, said Ursula. I comb twice a day. Tough noogies, said the lifeguard. What about that guy, said Ricardo. He does look pretty hairy. Scram, said the lifeguard. Don't worry, said Ursula. I know what to do. Right here under the no bears sign, there's a whole list of all the other rules for the pool. Like no eating, no running, no loitering, no belly flapping, no boating. You cannot bring a boat in the swimming pool. No frolicking, no lollygagging, no gallivanting, no filibustering, no marauding, <clears throat> and last but not least, no pogo sticks. My goodness, lots of rules, including now, no bears. This doesn't seem very fair to me. The next day, Ursula was ready for practice. Look what her idea was. Yes, she decided to transform herself into a bunny. She's got long ears. She's wearing a shirt that says, not a bear. So she's ready for practice. So was Ricardo. <clears throat> and so was Hortense. Ursula, meet my new partner, said Ricardo. What? gasped Ursula. He's replaced her. I thought they were a team. Oh, poor Ursula. She went home and cried for a week. Sometimes she slunk down to the neighborhood pond and she did her fanciest water ballet moves all alone. Like the double back albatross, the Mary Lou Boogaloo, and the half twist chanterelle. Ursula was in a big funk. That means she feels sad and lonely. One gloomy day, the pond was already occupied. It figures, said Ursula. Then she looked again. <clears throat> wow, great moves, said Ursula. That is some pyramid. There's a bear balancing on another bear and a moose. 
They've got a crocodile in a tutu and a girl in a polka dot swimsuit. Thanks, said the bear. We were up for the championship, but now we're stuck in this pond. I'm Ralph. Your team didn't ditch you? Ursula asked. Of course not. We're a team, Ralph said. Hmm, I think I have an idea, said Ursula. May I join you? Ursula and her new teammates worked hard to prepare. They're practicing their synchronized arm waves and they're diving in. And what are they doing here? Hmm. Got scissors and a pair of bunny ears. Soon the big day arrived and at the crowded pool entrance, there were no bears in sight. <clears throat> which is good because there's a sign that says water ballet championship, no bears. I don't see any bears, but I do see a lot of bunnies. Hmm. It was a day of fierce competition. Oh my goodness, a camel balancing on top of a tiger paw. <clears throat> and there's Ricardo and Hortense performing a graceful duet. Okay, ladies and gerbils, said the judge. Let's thank all the swimmers before we announce the winners of... Ready! boomed a chorus of voices. <clears throat> Set! Go! There go the bunny costumes. And here comes a new team. Look at those fancy swimsuits with a star in the middle. And they all match. The crowd exploded. They all clapped and clapped and clapped. Ursula's team staged a complicated routine with Ursula's triple banana flip as the finale. There they are. Everybody is cheering them on. They bowed and then they marched out. Well, said the judge. Please help me congratulate our winners, Ricardo and Hortense. But the audience had other ideas. <clears throat> there they all go. What could they be up to? Meanwhile, Ursula was steamed. We were so much better than those turkeys, she said. Why didn't we win? Look, said Ralph, we did. The audience is taking down the no bears allowed sign <clears throat> and putting up a new one. And it says, our pool, everyone welcome. Sheep and chickens and wolves and kitties and bunnies and bears. <clears throat> Ursula and Ralph and Hector and Lucy and Wilma and Bo were taking a swim. They were practicing their moves for the upcoming water ballet championship. The prize was one million dollars. So they trained and trained everybody together as a team. The end.
after hearing that story about splash dancing and water ballet, I kind of feel like I want to do some splashing. I didn't have room for a swimming pool at the library, but I did have room for a great big bathtub. And I brought some friends who want to splash in the bathtub with you. I brought some friends who are elephants. Would you let an elephant in your bathtub? I don't think one would fit in my bathtub, but this is a pretty big bathtub. Let's see how many elephants we can fit in. Start off with this guy who from my side looks like he's red, but when I look at him on the screen with you, he looks kind of orange. So we've got one red orange elephant going for a swim. We're gonna knock on the bathroom door, knock, knock, and he says, splash, splash, come on in. He waves us in with his trunk. Okay, that means it's time for our other elephant friends. Next up, yeah, bright blue elephant. Here he goes. One blue elephant going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in, says blue elephant. Okay. So we've got one, two elephants. Let's add another friend to make three elephants. <clears throat> We're going to add a green elephant. One green elephant going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. We've gotten up to three, but that bathtub looks pretty full. Can we fit any more in? Okay, let's try. Next up, I've got a yellow elephant. So we're going to add one yellow elephant going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in, they say. Those four elephants say, oh, we've got room. We can fit one more. These elephants are making a team, aren't they? Just like in our story. One more friend. Let's see if we can add him to the team. One purple elephant going for a swim. Knock, knock. Splash, splash. Come on in. Oh, oh my goodness. Five elephants was too much for that bathtub. It fell right through the floor. Oh, that is going to be a big mess to clean up, isn't it? The bathtub and all the water and the poor elephants. All right, let's pick them up and we are going to wave goodbye to those elephants. <clears throat> we'll make an elephant parade here. Green elephant. Yellow elephant, red elephant, blue elephant, ooh. Uh oh, I think these elephants might not want to stick. Oh, there we go. There we go, we've got all five of our elephants that caused our bathtub to collapse. And they say, they're waving goodbye to you with their trunks. They say goodbye. We'll see you at story time next week. Thanks for coming and helping us splash in the bathtub. <laughs>